Hi, I'm Tony Mortimer, and this is my album, Songs from the Suitcase. Very excited about releasing my first solo album. Apprehensive as well. It's different. It's something completely different. The album is called Songs from a Suitcase because I have a collection of songs that I've wrote over the years in the hope they'll be needed one day. So I carry songs with me and also the suitcase is my only constant when I'm on the road. It becomes your buddy. Shake It Down. This was one of those songs where it kind of felt good as I was doing it, so I carried on. And it just kind of started to grow as things do. Just about a girl dancing, basically. That's what it's about. So it's not as rude as they would have been 20 years ago. Doing the video was very funny because we wanted to go along the kind of Austin Powers 1960s, 70s thing. But we laughed a lot. Like the writing of the song, really. It was very quick and lots of fun. Out of the Frame is about me being perceived in one way. And it's about getting out of that frame and hopefully being seen in another light as well, which is what this album's all about. I mean, I don't know how people see me, but I would assume slightly chavvy. <laughs> As I was rapping and wearing hoods and baseball caps. The line, set alight the coats of white, is about the Staying Under Day video, letting go of it and moving on. I think writers always have songs that will be stuck on them and that's what you're sort of known for. And I love the song, I don't mind it at all, it sort of it changed my life. But that's what it's about, it's about ending that. Out the frame. Yes, I have seen that look before. The first leaf had fallen and it was autumn starting again. I was touched by that leaf in a nutty way. It was a poignant moment. It spoilt my lawn. You know, it was the first leaf that spoilt my lawn. So I wrote a song about it's, it's the cracks showing in a relationship. After the honeymoon period and then things start to settle down and then you have your first argument and things start to go wrong and that's what it's about. Writing Rain in England with Julian was, it was pretty fantastic beginning to end. Although we didn't write it in England, we wrote it in a nice hot place. It's nice to work with someone that you can kind of relax with and they can take over when you're running out of ideas. We wanted to write about England and the rain. It's kind of a, a moment of looking back on the past and reminiscing. It was great with him and his harmonies. I love it. It was a wonderful experience and I learned from it, which is great. My favourite track on the album is All I Got. It's sort of based loosely on a guy knowing he has nothing to offer this person except himself. And she's out of his league, basically. A guy who's punching well above his weight really fancies this most beautiful person who probably doesn't even know he exists. And all he, all he can offer is himself, and he's a dreamer. And I watch the light that's fading, and I think of wasted years. As I spend another moment alone. I may be wrong, I guess so. Yes, my songwriting 
has changed a lot now. I don't write rude songs, that would just be wrong at my age. You know, there's certain things you don't do as you get older. Um, we're trying to get that through to Madonna. But yeah, writing rude songs has changed. Succumbs to 